welcome to a life in high definition. I hope you're doing okay. I am here to do another beauty unboxing with you and it's this month's ASOS box. It has been out for a little while and this month ASOS managed to deliver it to me. Unlike last month where they just recalled my box, really wound me up and then told me well it's okay because we're refunding you and I'm like I wanted my box. I didn't want a refund. This month I had to have a long chat with the delivery people, even though they've delivered stuff to me before without an issue. Apparently delivering stuff from ASOS is really, really hard. But hopefully going forward, my ASOS box will turn up. This month is all about Korean skincare. So I don't know how much I'll be able to test for you during this video, but we're gonna have a look and see what it's all about anyway. Before I open it up, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up remember to subscribe to my channel of course you can share this video when you're done and ring that notification bell because I upload rather randomly all right let's get into the video ASOS do a box every month pretty much comes out around maybe the third of the month you have to sort of keep an eye on it and it's all different things like last month was revolution and this month is Korean skincare. No one does skincare like Korea, so we've packed this box full of our fave K beauty brands for you to sample. Can you see that? And I'm going to start with this because when I saw this, I was like, is that a. Uh, these sticks that they use like to stick in your mouth to do your DNA, or if you go to the hospital and you need to be checked for MRSA? <laughs> it's a bit weird. And it looks like this. It's from Dr. Oracle 21 Stay Athera Peeling Stick, Hygienic Swab Applicator for Skin Imperfection Care, Dermatologist Tested. Ever heard of one of these? No, I haven't either. It's the swab applicator which is ideal for hard to care areas around the nose and forehead. It efficiently cares for skin imperfections. Oh, it's moist in there. Oh, it's got liquid. So this is what it looks like. It's like a cotton wool type thing with some liquid on. So I'm gonna pop that back and seal it up. I'm gonna sellotape it up. And then when I take this off later, I will try and film myself having a go with this. Cause, well, oh, don't tip it that way once you've opened it. It's quite interesting, isn't it? This targeted spot treatment uses AHA and BHA, powerful acne fighting acids to effectively clear pores and blackheads. This innovative peeling stick is shaped like a huge cotton swab, allowing for precise application to get into the nooks and crannies. Lactic acid gently lifts dead skin cells, while glycolic acid works to exfoliate and resurface the skin, smoothing bumpy skin texture. Now, I really do suffer from bumpy skin. You can see that here. These are not spots. They never come up. They never burst out. It does help when I use face masks regularly, and my skin was better when I was pretty much doing one a night like a charcoal one I did a black mask peeling one if you might see it on my Instagram that stuff smelled so strongly of alcohol but my skin looked a lot better afterwards so if this can help with any of that I'm gonna be maybe maybe I will be a convert a blend of tea tree extract lemon extract and bamboo extract works to naturally exfoliate without irritating skin blemishes will disappear faster and skin will look calmer after using these peeling stick be interesting to see. I wonder whether one stick will be enough. Guess we'll find out. Right, then what have we got? A nice face mask, maybe to use after our stick from Mask Bar. I don't think I've had one of their masks before. Have I? I don't remember. You know I love a face mask though. This is a silver foil sheet mask, which visibly hydrates and soothes your skin with a youthful glow complexion, containing aloe leaf juice, anise fruit extract, and camellia leaf extract. It's a 20 minute mask. It says avoid using it on blemishes, pimples, irritates or sunburned skin. Which is interesting that your skin needs to be in like kind of perfect condition. No blemishes. Do these count as blemishes? I don't know. Now this is an interesting thing. Not seen or heard of this brand before. Power 10 Formula VB Effector Sebum Control from It's Skin. Sebum Control Effect. Skin safety tested. Okay, what else? Looks like this. There is a bottle inside. It's a powerful face serum with vitamin B6 that balances moisture to the skin and controls sebum production. After toner, take two to three drops and tap and gently spread over the face and neck. 
is there anyone else out there who when it says two to three drops ends up using like 10 it doesn't feel like it spreads but maybe i'm using too much i don't know mm, but what's it supposed to do so the idea behind its skin is that you have clinical information you know someone's researched or whatever plus your skin and you find the solution their philosophy is research produce good ingredients and optimal compounds for your skin ingredients contained in cosmetic products produce good effects for each skin type finding an optimal ratio and combination of ingredients that can produce the best effects are important as in using good ingredients its skin develops good ingredients and has its own technology of combining ingredients to produce optimal skin solutions this is one of a group of different serums the overall finish gives a light and refreshing feeling after application which makes it perfect for hot summer seasons it's troubleshooting for acne prone skin and large pores with excessive sebum and recommended oily skin which is great for me because i have oily skin this power 10 formulated effects serum product line is a series that features 10 individual types of serums that includes a concentrated active ingredient for each serum type now you can pick one or more of the serums that address your skin concerns and create your personal skincare recipe with skincare knowledge accumulated over decades its skin presents products for all ages and all skin types and promises the best results for beautiful silky skin that every woman dreams of and presumably every man because you know everyone's got skin oh it smells nice it smells very nice and fresh it's very um light and silky that's yeah it feels nice that is definitely something that is perfect for my skin maybe not for everybody i don't know if different people get different bottles but that is definitely perfect for me so i am pleased to receive this our fourth item is this and i'm happy to see this it's good to get your feet prepped ready for warmer spring days and summer this is a foot mask and it is baby silky foot mask sheet and i imagine these to be little booties that you pop on and then they make your feet nice now I have seen before when people have used these, they do recommend to use them overnight. You can do things like tape them around your ankles. Some of these actually do come with a tape thing that tightens it around your ankles so it doesn't come off. I wouldn't advise putting them on if you want to walk around because they are a little bit slippery <laughs> because they are wet. <laughs> um, I've not tried this one before. It says it's a highly enriched essential foot sheet which makes your feet fresh and moist. I think they will have tabs because you see that gold tab around there it's really helpful last time i had some of these not this brand but other ones and um I tried them with my mum and my husband while we were away on holiday i did film it but it didn't come out very well so i just didn't put it up um <laughs> but we did discover that leave them on over the night was really nice my mum was very impressed because she really struggles with her feet so if you haven't tried one of these, then I would definitely give it a go. Infused with a variety of exfoliating fruit acid. Infused with a variety of exfoliating fruit extracts, the mask is formulated to gently buff away dead skin, whilst avocado oil and shea butter deliver an intense dose of conditioning hydration to the feet skin, leaving with soft, silky, nourished feet. Okay, last item is this. It's actually a cute little box set from Dr. Jart. It's their ceramidin travel kit. And it's got a ceramidin cream, a ceramidin liquid, and a ceramidin serum. Serum? No, serum. I can't speak. It will hit you with powerful hydration to carry you through to the summer months. So it's a serum, a toner, and a cream. I guess the liquid is the toner. Dr. Yart believes in the true spirit of science, and they continue to expose new challenges to the field of skincare. So the moisturizer, which is the one in the middle uh, is vegan and it's a lightweight cream to moisturize the skin it has the power of microcapsule ceramides which hydrate the skin barrier from within preventing chronic water loss dry rust skin instantly becomes plumped with all day time release moisture it enhances the skin's natural strength and function for smoother softer skin it has no paraffins sulfates or phthalates and apply it over the after the toner morning at night so what they call the liquid which is the one at the bottom here is also vegan. This liquid skin saver plumps and seals dry, dull skin for all day moisture. The serum acts as a liquid cushion that strengthens and protects skin barrier from chronic water loss with the power of ceramides. It, it transforms rough and dehydrated skin into a hydrated, healthy glow without paraben, seal face and phthalates. Again, I imagine they'll all be like that. Basically, they all do the same thing. You just have a toner, a serum and a moisturizer and you can go ahead and make your skin beautiful it's kind of interesting isn't it that they put one 
thing in there for oily skin and one thing in there for dry skin. I don't know if they're trying to cover all bases, but is it likely that you'd have super dry skin and need this stuff and oily skin? Do you think that's a good mix? It might be nice to have a box that focused one way and then you could buy another version of the box that focused another way. I don't know. Has anyone tried any of these products? Would you recommend? Let me know. So that is the total of my ASOS box for this month. And the total value is £47.62 for a £12 box. That isn't bad at all, is it? We're doing very well there. Well done, ASOS. The only thing I'd like better is if you could just make it a straight subscription. It'd be easier for me. <laughs> what did you guys think? Is this a skincare box you'd love or have you had enough skincare from elsewhere? I am really interested in trying out that swab and I'm looking forward to the boot mask as well. Boot mask? Booty mask? Foot mask. I'm looking forward to the foot mask as well. Yeah, I think it's quite nice. I like the idea but I feel like they're quite small to know really whether they're going to work for you. Jury's out on that one. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until I see you next time, I hope you take care of yourselves and find something positive in every day. Bye guys. Bye.